Oh, okay, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at um, some benchmark tests on the LG Nexus 4. And we're just going to be seeing how well it performs. And yeah, we've got a few apps here. We're just going to launch up. We're going to start off with Quadrant Standard. So we're just going to run a full benchmark. And I just have to say, before I start the test, I did do a reboot on the phone just before I um, did these tests. So there's no applications or anything running in the background that might hog up any memory. So yeah, when I get started, I might just fast forward through this part until we reach the end. And the results are finished. And the score we're getting is 4,557. As you can see there, that's just after one. So one X is slightly higher than that. And um, this is after my first one, I'm going to redo this again. And if I get a high score, I'll put um, a little annotation on the screen. But anyway, that's the score that I'm getting with Quadrant Standard. I'm, I have the latest update on there. So yeah. We're going to jump into another one. This uh, benchmark application and see what kind of results we get. So, test. I'm going to start the test. Um, I'm going to fast forward, um, forward all of this. Alright, and it's done. We've got results. Total score is 8,931. So you can see what it scored in the CPU, GPU, RAM, and I.O. And I can submit this. So yeah. This is the results that I got for um, this test. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think. Are you happy with the results? Um, leave all that good stuff in the comments below. And we're going to be taking a look at Nenomark 2 see what kind of frames we get. I've never run this test before so let's see how this goes. We're getting about 60 frames per second, it's jumping between 59 and 60 frames right down here. Zoom in a bit so you can see. The screen does look pretty good. Fifty-eight point two frames per second on that's about average what it's getting. So you can do that. You see how it compares with all the other ones. Samsung Galaxy S2 beats that one, beats the Prime and all of that. So you can see how it compares. So yeah, pretty good results. We're gonna try out another one. We're gonna try out CF Bench. We're gonna run full benchmark and we're just gonna wait for it to finish. Okay, so it looks like the um, it's finished doing its test. So we could go down and see what the results are. Overall score, let me zoom in a little bit. 10,684. So that's good and you can see what it scored in all the different uh, tests. So you can see, so a uh, pretty good score and you can see how it compares up against the Samsung Galaxy S3, the HTC One X and all of those other devices. So that's the result that I got for CF Bench. We're going to move on to another one. We're going to move on to Smart Bench. We're going to run the test and wait for it to finish. And the test is finished and we're going to display index scores. We're going to see what kind of results we've got. Uh, zoom in a bit, I don't know if you could see. But the productivity index is 2,585 and the gaming index is 2,691. So those are the scores you get. Um, they're pretty good scores and you can see how they compare against um, everyone else. Hopefully this will zoom in and you can see. So those are the results that I got. And I think we have two more. We're going to run Limpack. We're going to run some single thread and then some multi thread. So let me zoom in a little bit. 35, this is single thread. 
35. Must be getting around 35. That seems way. It jumped up to 42 before. Alright, we'll still one more time, and that's it. Alright, let's do multi thread now. 74. 77. 79 74 Let's do it two more times and it should be at 115 so it's the highest we had so far 112 seems to be getting higher now 92 so maximum the highest we got is about um 115 more well, probably could go we've well, got 116 probably could go a bit higher if you keep pressing it Obviously it varies every single time you do it, so yeah, that's just to give you a rough idea of uh, what kind of results you get with that one. And we're not really going to take a look at Neoko, but yeah, benchmarking on the LG Nexus 4, it, benchmarks are pretty good. And overall, um, it's, it runs pretty smoothly, especially when you're using a um, smooth operation, no lag, it just runs buttery smooth. And that's that, um, down to the um, Snapdragon Pro. Uh, processor it's a quad core processor clocked in at 1.5 gigahertz so it's a pretty pretty beef, beefy beefy uh, processor and one of the best ones that you could get right now um so yeah that's a quick look at a uh, benchmark on the lg nexus 4 leave your comments down below tell me what you think are you happy with the results um leave all of that good stuff in the comments below don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching peace